Yeah, three weeks ago we started. Um, uh, we uh, sprayed the surfaces off, so exactly the same as the stadium. Uh, then we corroded off, uh, leveled it all up, found all the drains underneath, exposed all the sand lines, uh, then dressed with sand. Uh, then we uh, f uh, put the seed on. Uh, we got that big storm uh, for over 40 mil of rain in a very short period of time, washed it all out again. So we then had to, while the guys were in working on the stadium, we re-leveled everything here because it had the water had moved the sand and moved the surfaces. Uh, and last year we were unable to do as comprehensive a job because we had the, this is a very similar thing last year um, and we, we were affected by it all season. So we took the opportunity while their guys were in the stadium working on that to re-level it all. And then they came back here and they reseeded reseeded the surfaces. So, um, uh, and we're so chuffed, absolutely brilliant. Weather's been superb. Um, haven't had to water yet because there's a bit of moisture, a bit of moisture today. It's been a nice bit of sunshine, nice bit of warmth. Um, and yeah, we, we, we really pushed pushed at renovation. Uh, we've, we've taken on all the aeration ourselves now because uh, we've invested in some bits of kit uh, which we've, we've just completed yesterday, completed the whole site yesterday. We did all the pitches, then we moved to all the off-pitch areas in order just to improve everything out here. And um, we did a bit of drainage on the really wet areas. We've got more drainage to do. Uh, at the beginning of June, we're, we're letting, the, uh, letting the academy get a load of their stuff done and then at the beginning of June we're starting more drainage and the hope is to put some more irrigation mains out there to improve the irrigation um, with a view to next year improving it again so all, all little steps forward um, rather than massive you know massive implication financially we're trying to get as much done as we can when we can afford it but all with a common goal of getting to that situation where ideally we've got you know automatic irrigation on at least one of our pitches and hopefully long to you know mid mid term two pitches uh learning all the time every year we learn you know we learn by our mistakes um and we learn about you know when things go well what to to tweak it and uh yeah i was sort of thinking reflecting yesterday about this time last year we had soil everywhere and it was uh, just, you know, it was nowhere near where we wanted it to be. And it took us most of the summer to get everything leveled out and, and tidied up. But this year, as you can see, we've got a pile of risings down there, which we're going to recycle. Um, we've got to turn that over. It's going to compost down and we've got to turn it over a couple of times. Uh, but my challenge is finding a machine big enough that doesn't take me three days to turn it over. Started yesterday with a small machine and I just had to scratch my head and go, this is ridiculous. So, but I say living and learning and moving forward and, and always looking to improve. So tidying the place up a little bit, making it a bit, uh, a bit soft around the building, which is quite harsh after last year, having it all fitted, a bit of planting, um, making, the, making the place blend in nicely with nature. So yeah, all, all really good fun to be honest and really enjoying it. I think if you look back you know, even three, four, five years ago, it's quite remarkable, the transformation out here, not just in terms of the new building, but, you know, what you've done to the place to kind of keep it nice and tidy and, like, really presentable, really. Yeah, yeah, but a big help was having the building. The building's done, so all of a sudden, everything's smartened up, and you've got to raise your game then, haven't you? You've got to, you know, sink or swim, so we, we fancy swimming, so we're, uh, we're, we're right up for tidying it up. We're continuing to tidy it up. We continue to improve the facilities, uh, it's been good to run it for a year and see what everybody needs, wants, and what's going to work, what isn't going to work. Because, um, you, you know, in theory, everything works, but in practice, you have to tweak it a little bit. Um, but yeah, we're right up for it. We're more improvements this year. I've, I've got, you know, improvements that we need to make, you know, and needs financial input. Um, same as anyone else who wants to improve and progress and move forward. Um, uh, you know, you've got to have, have ideas, well thought out ideas, well planned ideas that work and often experience helps you form those ideas um, rather than just shooting from the hip. But we know where we want to be. Uh, if we get a decent amount of money coming in um, and there's plans in place, uh, but we also know all the things we're doing is actually working towards that long term plan. Um, and, uh, you know, I've got a few years left in me, but I'd love to retire and see this place 
absolutely where it wants to be, you know, uh, a, a, you know, a championship level sh stroke, even higher, you know, uh, standard of, of facility. So we can attract good players, players come here and go, actually, I want to train on that every day. And that, that's really where we set our goal. We want the, the players to walk out and, and to be fair, even now, the ones that are in training at the moment, they're, they're all like, you know, who would have thought a footballer would go, wow, that looks great. And when you're talking about turf and if we can get that mindset, then everybody's confidence level goes up. We're really proud of what we do uh, and the club's in a great place. Um, uh, but it is, you does take investment. You know, it's not, you know, growing grass, you know, 7,000 square metres of grass to a high standard isn't cheap. Um, and any football club, you know, local football club that's trying to do it, um, you know, it's not cheap. It's not, uh, it's not pin money. It's, uh, it's tens of thousands of pounds on the renovations alone. So, um, yeah, we're really, really up for the challenges and looking to improve all the time. You mentioned con constant improvements. The um, entrance is being re I believe, today as well, which was, you know, the pothole was... Yeah, yeah, that was, that was a bit of a standing joke. And, you know, and I I'm always a big, you know, whatever you drive into is how you've viewed the facility. Um, and I do get on people's cases a little bit about keeping the place tidy, you know, because if you're driving through a nice entrance and it looks great, you know, um, that sets your mood when you come into the place and uh, it certainly sets my mood. And um, often, sometimes it can be a bad mood, but, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we all, yeah, it's, yeah, what, what you, yeah, what you walk past is what you accept and, um, the better the place becomes, the higher your standards can get and the less, um, you know, uh, non-positive things you accept. So, yeah, we're in a good place. Um, them tar masters are here and they're uh, doing, doing the entrance, which is not, it's quite a challenge because there's traffic management. So it wasn't something we could just flick a switch and get it done. It all had to be planned. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to that being done. And then obviously I've then got to keep those verges and everything tidy cleaner it gives me the enthusiasm and, and the reason to make it even better um, so when people arrive on our site they think oh this is special and then hopefully they treat it in a special way uh, one thing we don't really talk much about is the 4g surface behind you i mean what kind of maintenance do you have to do on that in the off season uh we just continue maintenance in that we brush it regularly to keep the cork from uh, settling and compacting uh, we decompact it um, about three or four times a year to keep it from settling. We're actually having a contractor in, a specialist contractor in, uh, to come and do the work this year because we haven't got the kit. They've got, you know, uh, tens of thousands of pounds worth of specialist kit, which does the right job. We've actually just had it, um, just had a, um, a, a quality control done on it and it meets the standards apart from a couple of areas where people walk onto it which is understandable because that gets the most wear. So we're just looking at managing the traffic in those areas. And I'll be talking to the coaches about um, spreading the wear about in there. Um, but we're in a good place with that. Um, it, it, it will need replacing at some point. And, you know, I know there's a, there's a, there's a fund um, being put away for that because it's not going to be cheap. Um, but it's doing really well. It was put in 2016. Uh, it's now 2024. So I would think you know, certainly in four years' time, we'll be, we'll be scratching our heads thinking, you know, um, you, you know, we really need to be thinking about this. But hopefully, if we can manage it correctly and we can look after it, we can eke it out for another two or three years and, and maximise, you know, the investment we put in, which at the end of the day, the amount it gets used is, is fantastic. Just to finish off as well, I mean, I'm sure we'll do a, a proper update when you're there next, but you must be pleased with progress at the um, St James Park as well. Yeah, equally well. Um, you know, we learnt from previous years where we, we, we I say made mistakes. Uh, we, we, we didn't get things quite right. Um, and it, our experience, our experience is helping us learn how that surface works because it isn't a full sand based construction. It isn't a gravel carpeted construction. It is a soil based pitch with sand slits in it and really good drainage. Um, so uh, you, can't, you can't run that one out of a textbook. You have to run it by by getting a feel for it and, and really um, uh, really understanding how it works and also how it works in weather conditions and, and how to maximise that. So really enjoyable, keeps, keeps us all on our toes. 
Um, and as ground staff, we all work really closely together. Um, you know, we, uh, cups of tea, uh, uh, a full flow of conversations and what about this and what about that and what if we did this and um, yeah it's in it we're in a we're in a we're in a good place all round and if I'm honest we're really looking forward to the season um, and we really want to the, to create the wow factor um, and I think this year uh, I'll be I'm really confident that we'll get a real wow factor um, when the boys you know come and they they're really proud to to play on the surfaces that we produce for them.